all right? And Amazon seller sent me this product for review and to make a short video. This is a Alpha 1500 watt pure sine wave inverter. It has two USB ports, 2.1 amp each, and it outputs 110 volt AC. So I hooked it up already, and this is the back of the inverter, or maybe the front. It shows the battery voltage and the AC voltage, and you have the amp output here. I am powering it today with two lithium iron phosphate battery, 100 amp hour, 200 amp hour in total. And in the back there, you see a 3000 watt inverter. Actually, this inverter here, the 1500, is one size bigger than the 3000 watt that I have. So they must have overrated this by quite a bit. So this is much chunkier, beefier, and seems more solid. So what I have here is just a 12 amp circular saw. So when I power it on, you can look at the amp either to see how much it draws. So let's go. So actually, uh, it doesn't seem to draw a lot. 3.6 amps and uh, the AC voltage is still 111 volt, battery voltage 13.4. But of course, when you run a uh, equipment like this, the startup inrush current is a lot. So when you have a rating of 1500, that is barely enough when you use something like this. So, but as you just saw it seems to have started up no problem but of course if you start to use it and to cut some thick pieces of lumber then you can better tell the ability of the inverter but of course, at least it can power this is like like i said 12 amp and startup current can be three times or four times of uh, the state of Okay, power. next up I have a couple of hair dryers here. This is 1100 watt, this is 1700 watts. This would be over the limit of this inverter and over the limit of the battery. These batteries just have 100 amp BMS. So let's try it anyway. Okay, this is air dryer on low. Air dryer on high. 11 amp. Okay, I'm, I was surprised to see that this can actually run the 1700 watt air dryer. So, you should have no problem running this smaller air dryer here. 4.6 amp. 4.6 amp. And high, 10 amp.
I don't even feel the fan coming on. Yeah, it seems to be working. The only smell I smell is from the hair dryer. Yeah. Nothing, uh, no drama, no smoke. Again, this is this hair dryer on low. Yeah, this, the fan hasn't even come on. Usually the inverter would turn on the cooling fans, but uh, it doesn't even come on because the amps are not that high. It's only 2.8 amps. Okay, let's try it on high again. Turn it on high. Yeah. Eleven point four amps, hundred and twelve volts. A little chilly outside. Keep myself warm. Yeah, so uh, it seems to work pretty well. So I guess. The good thing for me here with this inverter here, it has the uh, amps, it has the AC voltage, and it has the battery voltage. This unit here, it only shows one screen, and you have to sky, uh, you have to cycle through the different output AC or the battery voltage. This one, you see, it has everything on or at once so you can see all the amp draw ac voltage battery voltage yeah and uh, on off switch a couple of usb over here so all you need is a couple of batteries inverter if you have so solar inputs and uh, you can recharge your batteries and you have a nice backup system. This one I think they sell for $200 on Amazon, which is a very good deal. And I'm just using the battery cables that I have. These are two gauge. And on this side here, these are the terminals. You have two fans over here. Pretty simple. Yeah. I'm not sure how... This is maybe about 12 inches, I guess. And... 4 inches high, maybe? 4 inches thick. Pure sign okay, way. I'm done with the test and I'm recharging the battery with this charger here. So this will charge these two batteries here that are put in parallel. And I have my solar panels out here. About 300 watts or so. I'm going to add an extra panel soon when the weather gets nicer. So this will be a nice addition to my solar backup system.